Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today to show you how to make this pocket page, folio, page insert, whatever you want to do with it. And there it is, it's got four pockets on the inside, a pocket there, a pocket on the front. You can use this as a journal page, you can sew it into your journal signature, you can just pop it in a pocket depending on how big your journal is. You can always make this different size. You could cut it down, make it shorter. It's so versatile, it's untrue. Um, yeah, you could even glue it onto your journal page like so. You could have a pocket there then. If you glue it on three sides, you could glue it on two sides. You could glue it on those three sides. It's like, wow, what can't you do with this? And yeah, let's show you how to make it. Right, I do have to say, I didn't come up with this. This was one of our subscribers, the lovely Jo, who has come up with this and sent me all the instructions. And I just think it's fabulous. So, start off with letter size or A4 paper. Or in fact, just about any size paper will do for this. As long as you start off with two pieces, the same size. Then, as you can see, I'm folding them over lengthways careful to get the corners together you don't have to be perfect but the yeah if you get your corners together bang straight you'll find this easier when you come to glue it together and chop bits off right so we've got our two pieces there notice i'm not telling you the size because that could be a4 that could be letter size doesn't really matter i'm going to get my chompy chopper out now if i can get it detangled from my headphone wires there you go oh handle fell off sorry about that Sorry, <laughs> it's this one. I picked it up with handle. Handle fell off, an old thing dropped on the floor. I'm ever so sorry if you were listening to me through headphones. That would have been awfully loud. Awfully. Right, so now you've got your two bits and just chop a bit off bottom. The height on this, you can make it. I made mine at eight, so I'm going to do it at eight again because eight, that will fit into a journal if I don't decide to sew it in the signature or it would still make a signature if I decide to sew it in as a signature so cut it off at 8 inches high now depending on whether you've used letter or A4 depends on how they are but again, how high they are but again it just really does not matter right put the chompy chopper away again sorry about that noise right I'm, I'm just swapping for my little one now because it fits on my desk better Oh dear, there we go. Right, one of these, I'm just going to cut a sliver off there about an eighth of an inch. It just means it'll all go together nicely. So that's about an eighth of an inch gone. If you're working in A4, that takes it down to four inches. But just cut one eighth of an inch off. You need to do it off that piece and off that piece. There you go, that's them gone. Right, <coughs> yeah. so just got those. I'm going to bin those. I don't even think I can collage with those, can I? That'd be a bit ridiculous. Right, now, get your piece that you haven't chopped a sliver off and open it up. Now, this is the piece you have chopped a sliver off. Because I don't have tea dyed, I'm using this ready-made stuff from Amazon, which I quite like. Now, what we want to do is measure halfway down there. Ah, halfway down, you might say. Well, we cut it, we measured it, we cut it to eight inches, didn't we? So halfway down is going to be four inches. So I'm just going to put a little mark four inches down. There we go. Now, there's many ways you can do this. I want to cut off that whole triangle from that four inch part up to there. Now, you can fold it over. You can just cut it freehand, you can do it with your trimmer. I'm going to draw a line. I feel more confident drawing a line from there to that mark I've just made. Because so that'll make me happy. And then I'm going to follow that line with my scissors. Yep, so that triangle is coming off. So I'm going to grab my scissors. And I'm going to cut just on the right hand side of the pencil mark then I won't see it on the bit I've got left a bit wibble wobble 
yeah I've not been on for a few days I've got I just I wasn't ill I just did not feel 100% I felt ropey a bit rough under weather whatever you might call it so I've slept for England and yeah so I do apologize from behind with comments I will catch up all right so we've cut that off now this piece yeah we've got a pencil mark on but that doesn't matter so we're going to turn it over we're going to turn it over and we're going to pop that there as a pocket yeah mine's because of my rubbish cutting mine's just come it's it's a little bit higher than i would have liked it's do you know what i'm going to do to remedy that i didn't have to do it on the last one i'm just going to cut a sliver off bottom then it'll be right it'll be right there you go well didn't end did it so i've cut my sliver off bottom did I cut that off the right way yeah so now that fits much better yeah Right, I'm going to get some inking done at this point. It will help you see where the pockets are. It will also help me remember which way around things want to go. Get some up hard and get a piece of cardboard jewellery for your inking. Take a leaf out of Melina's book. She always does it. And I forget to do it. Well, I think I'm going to use this. Oh, yeah, use that. Yeah, when you're inking paper, it can be really horrible sometimes. It all crinkles and wrinkles. But if you put a piece of card there, that will help you ink it without it wibbling and wobbling and crinkling and crinkling and crinkling even a word. Well, it is now. So there you go. That's all inked up. Yep. I'm then going to ink this edge. I mean, it does demand ink in this project. This project needs inking. I am going to decorate this as well, so it's not just making the page. That's that. I'm going to do that one as well. I just basically ink all the edges that I can't really get to easily before I start putting glue and stuff on. Right. Get rid of some tools and tranquilments, missus. So bring that back over now and we're going to glue that onto there yeah then we're going to glue that onto there and you can already see what we've got we've got the two middle pockets i think that's just a little bit of genius i really do so thank you so much joe now because i'm going to sew it i'm not going to put an awful lot of glue on you don't have to sew it though sewing is not essential so we need to glue down there Along there and along there. Use whatever glue you want. I'm using my art glitter, and because I do intend sewing it, I'm not putting loads. I'm putting a bit more on here because I sort of missed this when I sewed last one. I'll show you what I mean. But it don't matter. It looks good. Blind man, I'd be glad to see it, as I always say. That's that. So then I'm going to place that here. I'm looking to get the bottom lined up first. That looks good. There we go. Now if you remember we cut a sliver off this piece. The reason being now it's not going to be all scrunched up in that corner. Yeah? in that crease and then if we want to sew it in as a journal insert that's going to move freely yeah so that's why I've got, look how wonky i've stuck that on could that be any more wonky oh lordy woman what you done look at state of that that's terrible do you know what i'm going to do to remedy that can you tell i'm rusty i've not done a video for four days i'm going to lock top off lock the top off lop off the top you know how i said earlier you can cut this down so that it fits anything oh look at that there we go yeah that, that corner's not perfect but that's much better than not having it meat isn't it very very rubbish at that one sir right so now these two bits we've got left over right, this is the only thing i've done different to what joe did I've not even bothered cutting them in half. I'm just going to tuck them over like this. That's for that one. 
one of these is narrower than other isn't it yeah so it's a bit like that little mini journal we did from a6 paper i'm just gonna tuck that on like that there we go so i'll ink the edges i think you get the idea now don't you I'm going to put a smidgen of glue down that edge. Not loads, because again, I'm going to come in and sew it with my sewing machine. And I'm going to tuck that over there. And that's going to make two more pockets. I'm not doing good today with this crafting lock. Eee. Yeah, I'll go as far as to say, I'm, I think I may have had a mild dose of flu. And I'm still a bit... <laughs> right, so there we have. Pocket there, pocket there. How good is that? Yeah, glue front on as well, woman. Just glue down there and along the bottom. There we have it. Then we do exactly the same with this piece. I just think this is fabulous. Thank you so much, Jo. Jo doesn't do YouTube, but she obviously has some fabulous ideas. Jo is the lovely lady that bought me my glass mat that I don't tend to use on camera because I can't get a set up where it don't give a great big glare. I will eventually. I will. But it's fabulous off camera for doing all my inky stuff. Right, have I gone off camera with this? You can just, nah, you're there, you can see me. So that's that pocket. Oh, I forgot to ink them edges, haven't I? Oh, I'll sort that out. I'll sort it out after. That'll do. <laughs> that was well, most pathetic inking that weren't it oh my word Whee. and i would like to thank all you lovely people who bought me coffees over the last week i don't have the list of names because that would be too much like being organized wouldn't it that'd be too much like planning ahead and organization not my strong suits so that's that that's that there is a pocket there what's that I forgot to I forgot to glue other pocket on. Oh why, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Better load you did. Where's the pocket gone, woman? Where's the other pocket gone? Well there it is. I'm floating around on my desk. That just sums my brain up. Now this is me feeling better and I've spent so much time in bed over at weekend and yesterday and today. I grew up at half two today, that were early. <laughs> in afternoon not morning so there we go so that's our page insert how fab is that now to sew around it i'm very disorganized when i sew around this kind of thing i just tend to go i treat it like that's one thing and i sew all the way around yeah then i'll go down that and up that and then i'll just go do 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 you do it how you do it. Depends what you can fit in your sewing machine if you're going to sew it, doesn't it? So that's that one. Now I'm going to be ever so cheeky and I'm going to swap back to the first one for decorating because it's already sewn. There you go. Jobs jobs are good. And so let's pretend this is one I just did and then I sewed it. Sewing on camera is a bit boring when all you can do is seat top a machine, isn't it? Nobody wants to watch that. Well, I don't. Right, if you look here, my sewing is so not perfect. I totally missed that. <laughs> That's why I decided to put a bit of extra glue on the other one. Totally missed it, but you, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know, it looks fine. And yeah, you've, I've got stopped and started all over, but I like that look. I like how we've got all these stoppings and startings and bits of, bits of thread. But overall, I like the look of it. Right decorating this is going to be so easy i am going to use a lot of pre-made ephemera in, in, and embellishments yeah i've got a couple of tubs of things these are all things i've made previously on youtube 
Oh, this. Look. I had a go at making this from a piece of 6x6. I even folded that over in a different direction. It works. This is so adaptable. Thank you again, Joe. Right. We've got space here for big tags. So I've grabbed some previously made tags and bits and bobs. Right. A lot of butterfly stuff. It seems to be my go-to. So <laughs> just... You just know it's going to be a butterfly thing. These are the swing tags I made. Look at all the journaling space on those. No, I don't want that there. I want it maybe here. Yeah, I like that. I uh, don't think I like that. That notebook might be a bit heavy, but it depends what we're going to do with it. If I sew it in as a page, yeah, that might be a bit heavy. If I have that fastened down, it may fit nicely in there. So do you know what? I'm going to pop it there. Yeah, you stay there. I don't know whether that blue one, the colour really goes. I've got just a plain one here that I've not decorated. Do you know what? I'm going to swap pockets with that. I'm going to put that in my front pocket. Then I've got some smaller tags here that were made at a different time. That's a digital think by Artie Mays. I think that might get popped in there. Oh, look at that, an altered paper clip. With... It's got bees on. We're not doing bees, are we? No. Nah. Another little one. I could pop a couple in there, really, yeah. Yeah, I like that. A couple in there. And... I want something for the back one. Might struggle here. I've got that. Yeah, I could put that in. I think that matches good enough, doesn't it? So, can you see it now? It's full. That could be, even in paper, it could be a standalone folio. But if you did this in a light card, any of your printables will work. Especially portrait ones. Just print onto your A4 and letter size cards. Right, I need to decorate these pockets. So I've got lots of bits and bobs here. I've got clusters that I've made previously. Oh, I've found another tag. Another tag. Oh, nice postcard. Oh, I couldn't find these when I wanted them. These are all the page tucks that I made in the M Scrapbusters Challenge a while back. Oh, I've got some of these lovely flowers. Again, another M Scrapbusters Challenge. Corner tuck. I might pop one of those on the front. I like that, but it's not very butterfly easy and it's a bit light. Oh, I've just got loads of stuff I've not got round to using yet. That's cute. Loads of wax seals. Never used them. Um, really need to make some. Oh, I like that. Really need to make some more journals. Get these used up, woman. You're not making enough journals. I'm doing far too much ephemera at the moment and not enough journals, I think. Right, we're going to use those. I do have another tub, I think, that is just clusters. Yeah, I just put all my YouTube makes in these little pink drawers at the side of me. I'm going to ferret through them when I need something. Or if I want a happy mail. I've got another big box as well. I'm not going to talk about that one. I don't think I want to put a creepy crawly on. That's not happening. Hmm... I want clusters and I'm not seeing clusters. Ooh, are they clusters? Oh, I've seen a box full of clusters now. Bear with me. Bear with me while I grab them. Things might fall and crash and craft a lunch. Oh, wow. Come here. I can get you. <laughs> this is ridiculous. My swan neck tablet holder was in front of my drawer and stopping me using it. What a nightmare. So I just thought I'd do this because, yeah, I've, I've not had anyone ask it of me yet. I've seen other people be asked it. Like, what do you do with all these bits you make? Well, this is what we do. Decorate junk. Look at that. We decorate junk journals. Whee. Oh, yes. Uh, someone commented on this the other day. I, if I put them across the ribbon, it would make a belly band. Well, yeah, I did do some and I did link that video. I'll link it again in here. 
I used the crochet lace when I did those. Look at that, that. Oh wow, look at it. I think that's going to go up front there. That could not be any more perfect, could it? A little butterfly tag. Because if I decided to make this from scratch and think up all the embellishments all at once, I wouldn't. But then I go through my pre-made ones, I'm like, oh yeah, that looks good, that looks good. And that's just how I do it. Oh, cute little one. I think that was for my first ever M Scrap Busters. I think it's quite obvious I totally forgot this uh, tub existed. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's an altered paper clip. Oh, wow. I've seen that like I've never seen it before. You'd think I hadn't. It's fab having a bad memory. You can watch films over and over again and you've no idea what happens. You can go in your own stash and think, wow, look at that. Didn't know that existed. So you've totally got no recollection of making it. Yeah, I'm well ready to put another butterfly type themed junk journal together, aren't I? But that, I just want that on the front. Oh, I do. I like it. I even like how raggedy that is. These are similar to the ones I made in the um, Scrap Busters last week. I knew I'd made something similar before. But these, as you can see, I've inked. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of inking. In fact, I've got some of my ones from last week here. There's not a lot of difference, really, is there? Not really. Anyway, I might put some of those on inner pages. I'm just waffling and decorating now, so... Yeah, feel free to... <laughs> yeah, if you've done... If there's nothing new here to learn now, I've showed you how to make the page. So if you're in a rush, if you've got things to do, bye-bye, see you later. <laughs> if you just like to listen to me waffle and ramble, I'll be here doing the decorating. Yeah, I have not crafted since Friday. They're the last things I made, those clusters. Hence, they are still on my desk. But I like that. That could also be a tuck, couldn't it? But it's like how many, how many things can you fit on one page, really, isn't it? Do I want to make, no, I don't think I want to make it a tuck. I'm just going to stick it on. And I'm going to use my dry adhesive for it. My Crafter's Companion permanent dry adhesive. I'm going to make sure I get up near them corner bits. Yeah. Some there. Yes. Thank you, Dory. I'm going into the swing of things now. I'm talking rubbish. I did try and film a video yesterday. It was like someone, oh, personality had been sucked out of me. I'll just like, and this is, hello, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back to my sleep fest, <laughs> to my channel. That's how I felt, so I just give up. Well, I do like that. This has got to now go in my butterfly, next butterfly journal, hasn't it? I'm very tempted. I think I want to put one of those on there. Do you know what? I'm gonna. Because I can. Grab some scissors. Do I want that one or do I want that one? I think I need a bit more colour. I'm going to put this orange one on. I like that. I'm very tempted. No, I need to cut some more of that ribbon off. Because that I do not like. That I like. And because that's ribbon, I'm going to put that on with my art glitter glue or some... I'll use art glitter. I'm not in mood for messing with three-in-one glue. It's too sticky, icky, and too strong smelling. That won't be very good for my breathing at all. Not today. Right. So you go there. I like it. Not too, not too far in there because then. Oh, I like. It's just like a butterfly fest, isn't it? We need to put bits of. Through through on here, as Fiona calls them. That's Fiona who is Miss Paint a lot over on. Oh, I like that. I could put that there. I don't think it's a frilly, fluffy, lacy thing though, is it? No, I don't really think it is. I'm so tempted to just put an altered paper clip on there. You know, rather than a permanent decoration, if I could put it on, that is. Why, why can't you get it in, missus? 
Well, there you go. Oh, I do like that. I do that sometimes on pockets. Because then it looks good, but then you can also take it off and use it elsewhere. Oh, I could use that just to hold the whole thing together, couldn't I? Like so. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's hard to decide. I can't, this is, can't really decide. I don't really know, Rita. Yeah, if you've not watched Coronation Street, a uh, British soap opera type, yeah, thingamajig, you'll not know who Rita is. <laughs> when I say I don't really know Rita, you'll be like, well, what is that woman chuntering about? Can I really put a cluster on everyone? I think I may be able to. I like this one, though. I do like that. I think I might put that there. I can. It's my insert. I can do what I want. They don't all have to be butterflies. I can have something with a laurel theme. Yeah, also, I'd say, um, something I used to do, I used to faff forever looking for that one perfect thing. And the truth is, there isn't one perfect thing. There are a whole host of perfect things that will, that will look absolutely fabulous in any one place. It's a bit like, mm, do I have that one? Because I might find something better. Well, yeah, you might find something better, but you might waste three days looking. <laughs> and I just had to start, yeah, just choose, woman, choose. That's a bit wonky, isn't it? Oh, good, I'm not pressed down. I can't be coping with that music uh, paper being too wonky. It'll set my teeth on edge when I look at it. That's better. There we go. Yeah, and then I think... So we've got the big one there. That one there. Oh, I absolutely love this. And... Mm, that might make it a bit chompy if I put a lacy one on. I've got another lacy one. If I want lace there, I want lace there. But I've already said this is not a lacy journal, aren't I? Mm, what do I want? It's really hard to decide. I could just put a little one on. I could. Oh, I've got another. Hmm. Hmm. I could put another one. No, I don't want to with that on. I really don't. That's just far too much. Oh, I've got another lacy one. <sighs> yeah. You know when I said it's not a lacy journal? I've just cancelled that statement. Statement cancelled. Oh, I need to move things over to make room on my desk. Statement cancelled. Oh, I could put those, make those into mini belly bands. But then again, this is not the strongest of paper. It is just thicker than copy paper. It's that stuff from Amazon, I don't even think I remembered telling you. Yeah, it's the stuff you get from Amazon. Uh, vintage, antique paper. I've got some on my Amazon storefront, if you've not seen it. But lots of people sell it. And I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'm going to use art glitter again. Got some nice, thick bits on the back of here. So yeah, after... Saying about three times it's not a lacy journal. I've gone and put some crochet lace on. But it's not. Is it? It's not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't find crochet lace overly faffy. And I, can put, it's, I was going to put it higher or lower, but I just dropped it. So there you go. How did you decide where to put your lace? Well, I dropped it. There you go. So when you watch other people make things and you see something and you think, oh, that's brilliant. What a fabulous decision to put that there. Well, I don't know about other people, but sometimes my stuff ends up where it is because I dropped it. I do that often. I'll put the glue on and while I'm turning it around to place it where I want it, I drop it. And I'm going to be careful with this one because I want it to slightly match that one. Is that even straight? I have no idea. I think we've got enough butterflies on here to last a lifetime. So that one says, from the heart. That says, dreams of beauty. I think I like it. And I think all that needs is some little bits of 
a frou-frou, as Fiona calls it, with Miss Paint a lot. I'm getting deja vu now, I've said that. <sighs> right, where's my frou-frou gone? I've got a little tub with little bits of bobs in and I can't find it. Ooh, that looks good. Ooh, how about that? Yeah, I've just, here we go. Just got a handful, look at that. Ooh, the uh, joys of being untidy and messy. You just have all these little amazing handfuls of goodies hanging about, doing nothing. That looks good. We don't have any. That doesn't need. I mean, we could even tie this together using that. You know, if you wanted to make it, it's not going to be an insert, this, because it is paper. It won't last very long, would it? It needs to be incorporated in a journal. This is going to make a fabulous centre spread, isn't it? So, yeah, stop waffling. Waffle, waffle, waffle. So, I just want to pop a little bit in there, I think. Yeah, that's all I need. Yeah, a different pair of scissors coming out because I've lost yet another pair of scissors. How can one person lose so many pairs of scissors in the space of half an hour making one project? I really don't know, but I can do it. Go on, thread that through. That's it. There we go. I like that. Bit of fluff. We all need a bit of fluff. <laughs> in crafting, that is. In crafting. Oh dear, I do come out with some things. I'll shut up about that one. Right. Just pop that through. I think I've got one more tag that needs something on top. And I think I might use a bit of crochet lace. Yeah, that. If I use a bit of crochet, I don't know, I feel it'll tie that in somehow. I don't know. That might be absolute rubbish that I'm speaking. Crochet lace, where are you? I know I have some here. Hello. There we go. Bit of crochet lace. Oh, these are all my thin ones. What a little sam fabric sampler. I don't even know if that looks good. That looks good. Yeah, I'm going to cut a little smidgen of that off and just put that over the top for a tag. I think the Tim Holtz tiny attach is coming out for that job. Timothy! Gotcha. And there we go. So I'm just going to Randomly bob a couple of staples in. There we go. So there we have it. And that is going to be the centre spread in my next butterfly themed journal. Oh, I love it. I'm leaving that on there because I like it. So, one junk journal page insert. Decorated with lots and lots of our pre made ephemera. So, if you're ever wondering what on earth does she do with all this stuff, they are going to go into junk journals. I just don't seem to have been making as many of late. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it didn't waffle. I'm not going to say that because there's always the people who don't like me waffling, they'll just go away, won't they? So, I don't let Dora your own way out kind of thing. And other people say it's fine. So, yeah, I'm just going to shut up and go. Okay, see you next time. Bye.